Hello and welcome to the next session of The Worlds That Were, the Warhammer roleplay game set in the 30,000-ish millennium during the start and eventual continuation of The Great Crusade. Now, where we left off last time, uh, the group had just rallied themselves around the door to the Flight Control Centre on the hangar level, where they, where they initially breached into the main control spire on Lysaeus. So, what happened last was Nast reached past the servitor that is currently stood in front of him, an actual wall of meat, Sla um, slides the, the key card through the security terminal on the side of the, the wall, and the doors part, revealing the, um, the cool blue lit interior of the flight control centre in front of them. As the doors open, the six guards stood directly on the other side. See the, this wall of servitors and the would-be revolutionaries behind them. They pull up their rifles and they open fire. Um, we actually attempted to start this session yesterday, so I already have some rolls for that. So three of the four individuals managed to hit. So let me just roll up some damage for those. See if they actually managed to knock any of the servitors down before you actually walk into the room. So the first guy managed to hit the servitor directly in front of Nast twice. Oh boy. God damn, we don't have enough servitors for Russian tactics. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. <laughs> How much armor does skin give? Uh, they have got some armor. Uh, so the second shot actually does no damage, but the first one does actually take him down a bit. Okay. The second guy uh, only manages to hit once. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, that does nothing. And Jesus. The third guy misses completely, and the fourth guy also only hits once. Adam, was that a joke, or have you stopped recording? It was a joke. Oh, you fucker! <laughs> I, I hate all of you. Um, okay, so that one would have hit... Yeah, that would be left arm. So that does two wounds on that guy. So, nope. That is that number take away two. So, now that the door has opened and the initial reaction opening fire has taken place, let's roll initiative. Oh, boy! Yay, this will only take about 20 minutes. Don't worry about it. That is a... Completely not a lie. I will spend my fate point to make the servitors go first. Okay. Uh, oh, nice. To, to roll a 10, there is a distinct difference. Roll a 10, go first, same Although, shit. I did actually just make the Kyle and Guard roll using the servitor. So hang on. That should actually not be a 10, that should be a 13. Or 12, even, sorry. Wait, what? No, I must have rolled that right. Ignore me! <laughs> I'm definitely awake, can you tell? I remember. Okay, so they, they actually... So the servitors will actually be going on... 11. Well, actually, hang on, no. The servitors are going on your turn, aren't they? Yeah. Which would be... You know, so if you, instantly rolled a 10... Then add and four. Then add so fourteen. Right. I'm going last. Um, probably. Hey, could somebody else could roll one for us, agility? Yes, hypothetically, if the spy attacks roll one, they will actually be going. No, you're going last. <laughs> okay. And also uh, three, if they roll a one or two. I have so many character sheets. <laughs> Merge them into one amalgamation of ca uh, camera. Lo would love to. Okay, has everybody rolled? Yes. I rolled horribly. I haven't. I, I, I've missed someone. Technically, Adam has rolled. Technic well, no, but he has determined his initiative. Do you want to be more precise in the questions next time? I, I, I did roll over a seven. This is technically true, he did. Okay, descending. Okay, Calston, what is your agility? Uh, that is a very good question. My agility is 
40 on the... Oh, okay, so you're going before the spy attacks. Right, okay. Sergeant. Do you want to spend your turn looking for him? No, I just see him on the turn, I'm just like, huh. Interesting, that, isn't it? Right, Rallus, what are you having the servitors do? Um, how far can they move? Uh, their movement is... Uh, three meters half. So their charge would be nine. Nine, yeah. Can the servitors actually charge and stuff with direct controls? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Right. I will run... Because it's got to be a straight line. Yep. I will run... If I can get this out of the way... Uh, Would it? you like me to give you control of the servitors for this? That might work. Would that be easier? That probably will work. Is everyone okay with just mad rushing them forward? To engage people. Sounds good to me. Right, you should have access to them now. Uh, I would say maybe they like delay until like nine because that means they get to shoot at us first and then they get to charge. So we True. don't get to take well, the shots. If the servitors charge in and they engage with them in close combat, they might not actually be able to shoot at you guys at all. Yes, yeah, so my plan was to send one there. Yeah. One there. Can you control the and Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying now. I'm just showing everyone what my plan was. So he will engage okay, on the... Get you, you've got that one at the back next to Lucien as well. That corner there. Straight of there. That corner there. And to there. Okay. And where's the one next to Lucien? Yeah. Can that one even do anything? Get anywhere important. Um, you can block the you can block the route out there. Everyone okay with that? So just don't like. You would only be able there. to move them six meters. Oh yeah, six isn't it? Yeah. yeah, unless you perform a run action, which will give you eighteen. Now nah, we'll just leave them there. Just run the circle somewhere, and move, just like people. As I say, Borderlands Two exploders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. But yeah, we'll do that there. Right. Okay. Um, do you want to make the charge attacks for the four that did? Can do. Um. Right, okay, so uh, we'll start with this guy here. Yep. So it'll be, you'll get one attack. Mm -hmm. um, plus 20 for the charge. That's, that. I did that wrong, didn't I? Uh, let's have a look. What did you do? I did a plus 20 rather than a minus yes, 20. Yeah, that would have been a 62. That would have been a 62. Let's have a look. Um, technically, it would have been a... Well, it was an 82 with a minus 20. No, it would have been 52 because you put 20 off the charge and then 10 for the single attack. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, sorry, 52. Then. I'm guessing it's probably a miss on a server at all. Uh, yes, it is. Right, uh, do you want to do the next one? Yeah. Just want to roll d100 because we don't take off 30 from the result. Okay, that one actually hits. Uh, let me see if this guy can dodge. Uh, he does not. Let me just roll damage for you. Okay. So you hit him, 12, that's going to be one of the arms, so that's a subduction of 7, so that's a, that's a tasty 5 wounds you've just taken off this guy at the back. Very nice. Is that on...? Uh, that's on this guy. Yeah. So that guy is now wounded, a big um, bleeding wound down his right arm. Okay, right, uh, roll another one for these two at the bottom. We'll deal with this guy's attack now, on the him. Uh, that's a miss, and now roll for this guy as well. That hits. It's a yeah, headshot as well. Dodges. There it is. Oh, unfortunately he manages to dodge that one. Ah, he dodges use at least. Very true. Okay. Right, Chirania's turn. 
Um, he is going to. Do, 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 do. He's going to move into this side of this door. Uh, and he's going to hold his action. If the spire techs become aggressive, he's going to open fire on them. Okay, Kai and God. So, this guy on the top right is going to try to basically pull out his knife and shift the servitor in the somewhere. Just the somewhere. Uh, that is uh, a hit. Um, ask a strange question. No, wait, they're actually... Well, they're not trained, but do you want to at least attempt to try to dodge, Rallis? Yes, may as well. Right, okay. Uh, roll me a d100. You want 15 or less. Come on. Nope. Agile servitors. Oh, okay, that's so, so close. Goes. That one takes a hit. Let's have a look how much damage we do. Uh, 10, pen, 0, and 7 hours. Where did he hit? 22. That is left arm, so he's taking some damage. Very nice. Okay, the guy above him, he's going to basically do the same thing, pull out his knife and try to stab the servitor. Misses horribly. Uh, this guy is going to try to stab the servitor. Misses horribly. And the last guy, Jesus Christ, why do I even bother? Okay. <laughs> that guy is going to take a step back and aim at the servitor directly in front of him, and he's going to do the same for the one there. Nast, you're up. All right. Um, I assume there's no shooting through like this cost hog of fighting. Like, like so. What do you mean? Like no. Right, uh, yeah. Um, which of these two people? Uh, where of the movement? The top one. Okay. So that's gonna take a, a very long step on f of five meters forward. Mm-hmm. That is a very long step. He's got long knees, and I'm going to try and shotgun blast uh, that dude. Well, you know, seeing as I was abrupted last time, continuing my, of, you know, fall to the ground and live or stand and die, now that they're, you know, busy, too busy to interrupt me. Okay, right, yeah. Um, short so, range, so you get the plus 10, you also get the additional plus 10 off scatter. Right, and then... Um, Single shot, so that's plus 30. Plus 30. Right. Back. Uh, yeah, I would like to reroll that, so my, you know, saying so, surrender or shoot servants in back scroll, or that will happen to you. <laughs> surrender if you want to not look like that. Yeah, okay, so he's spending a fate point to reroll. Yeah. Go ahead. You okay. did it! Um, unfortunately, I don't think you get any of the additional hits. You would have needed to get actually 50. Alice. Why is every two degrees, not every one degree? I think it's every one, two degrees, yeah. Well. Okay, so roll one set of damage. Which is all I need. Okay, it's not all I need. I take that statement back. Yep. Uh, you see the uh, the shotgun pellets just kind of bounce off the, the, the thicker armor plating that these guys are wearing. Uh, well, Anything else you want to do? Any free actions? Uh, just, you know, like, repeat of, you know, like, fall to the ground, surrender, and you will live. That would be an action. If you want to attempt to essentially intimidate or persuade the guards to surrender, that would have been your action, instead of oh. shooting them. Well, that shall be my action, soonish, and like okay. a round's turn, maybe. Jin, which one would you like to hit with your mace? I will do the w bottom one. Uh, what, this guy? Yes. Right, what's your charge range? 12. Oh, okay, so, yeah. So, he's within charging range. Yeah, I'll just move you up to there. Okay, Thank you. so, uh, yeah, make your attack. Now, any bonuses since, or no? Um, ooh, let me check. Let you know, you will have a plus 10 for ganging up. Okay. 
because you've got two on one with the Simtor. Kinky. Woohoo! All right, uh, he's already used his dodge, so um... that was a swift attack. Okay, with so the... you score. Oh, I forgot to add. I forgot to add the plus twenty for the charge. As oh, well. okay. So in that case, you get a five degrees of success. So what? Four Three attacks. Hits. Three hits. Okay. Yeah, so roll three sets of damage. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so that guy is basically... You You run towards him and you bring your power, your pilfered power mace down in a, a series of heavy sort of overhead swings. Um, and you basically... You just pulp large sections of his torso and he just drops to the ground. You can see the two spire techs stood like just behind him, kind of taken aback. One kind of half instinctively like reaches towards the, the last pistol he has strapped to his side, but to his side, but his hand is kind of hovering there. He's trying to fall back on some form of training they were given God knows how long ago, but he's clearly a bit shaken by what he's just seen. And things can only now get better as it's Callister's turn. Yes, now you could use that as an example of surrender or uh. That will happen. Yeah, if if Callister wants to attempt aggressive diplomacy, that's fine. Or he can, uh, throw, in a, or he can throw in a grenade. I think I think Callister this time, he's just gonna, he's gonna sit down. He's gonna no no he's not. He's gonna start cackling wildly, as he's gonna tell me, Sean. If I was here, would I be able to hit this boy? No. Okay. Good to know. There is there is too much wall and servitor in the way. I have a charge range of 12. I'm going to charge this boy. Go for it. Okay. This is not going to end well. Well, we'll see. Oh, I should have done the wee thing. Hold on. Let me do that. Yeah. Um. Plus okay. Ten for, plus 10 for ganging up. Yep, yeah, but the first thing I want to do is... I can't, I can't because faint. You're, you're still pop doing the charge action. Yes, that's it. I completely, if, yeah. I keep forgetting. It's almost like it's been two weeks. Oh it's my almost, god. Almost. Two weeks in a day. I know, right? Oh my god. Um, Alright, charge. Plus 20 for the charge, plus 10 for ganging up. So it's plus 30 overall. Yep. I don't have swift attack, because I only need one hit. I'm one punch man. I wish I was. I have, I have no words. <laughs> hey! Alright, hey, let's... Hey. You you managed to hit. Let's see if you can actually do any damage. That is a no, but I will increase that three damage that I rolled to four mm -hmm. to make yeah. that an eight. to actually do some damage. Oh my god! Yeah, a whole crazy. one a whole one point of damage. Crazy. I know. Here's a crazy idea, Ronan. Pick up a weapon. No, <laughs> just, <laughs> I refuse. Just anything. Shop and stick at this point might actually be better. <laughs> actually, no, if I say that, but it wouldn't, because you do. Anyway, moving on. Okay, is that your entire turn? That is my entire turn. All right, the Spire Techs. Um, they are going to kind of take a few steps back, kind of away from the... Uh, Let's call them the individuals who have just walked in. Some of them are kind of ducking behind terminals and such that they've been working on. Others just kind of want to be as far away from you as possible. Uh, mm. Can't necessarily blame them, exactly, but uh, they don't shoot you or anything, which is a plus. Lucian. Mr. Heavy Stubber. Heavy stubber, power armor, and looking like a bamf because I got a whole bunch of scars and shit on my body and face that they can see. Have you taken those, like, disguise bandages off yet? Are you still wearing those? I uh, took those off a while ago. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm just gonna walk my ass to, like, right here. Uh-huh. Heft the heavy stubber, look at the whole bunch of people in the room, and just go, you know, we really don't want to kill you fucking people. If you put your guns down and surrender, you won't die. But... If you want to continue going this way, it's fine. We'll oblige you. 
It's not like we haven't been killing people over the spire because they've been trying to shoot us or anything. Okay. So you did technically do what I think is the equivalent of a full move. So I'll not treat that as a action to, let's call it diplomacy. But what I'll do is I'll, uh, on their turn, I'll give them some kind of willpower save to see if they buckle, essentially. And I might yeah, I should look at how far I moved. Yeah. I mean, if you want to move back a bit, you can then try to attempt to do it. Far enough that they can see me. You're kind of hard to miss. Everyone is looking in this direction, and you're... Ooh. Uh, can you move them back? I kind yeah, of grabbed yeah, them yeah, back. Yeah, I got you. You're kind of hard to miss. You're a pretty imposing figure, stood in power armor, carrying a heavy weapon. True enough. Right, okay. Um, so are you directing this at the room as a whole, or primarily the guards? The room as a whole. Right, okay. Um, give me... You can use either... Command, Intimidate, or Charm. If you have any of those trained, feel free to use any of those. Yeah. No. <laughs> I have two those three. Uh, We're going to try that and somehow manage Holy to do shit. it. Okay, I was going to say I'll give you a plus ten, but you apparently don't need it. What All right. the fuck? Yeah. I don't know how that got two degrees of success, but sure. Uh, you, yeah, yeah, that's weird. That is weird. Let us not question it. You know, you got at least one. That's fine. That's all that really matters. Um, all oh, twenty yeah. spoken. Anyone sure. who is like not intently trying to beat the snot out of the guard can see that at least all of the spire technicians in the room, with like their index fingers and their thumb, pull out their their, their last pistols and just drop them on the ground. Some even like get down on their knees and like hold that stop putting their hands in the air. So Lucina has very effectively just dissuaded them from hostilities, shall we say. Or was it specifically his set? Uh, it was something along the lines of, we don't really want to kill you people, you know, we're only but trying it... to defend ourselves here, put your guns down, <laughs> and we'll be fine. It hasn't stopped us in the past, <laughs> Rax like. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rallus, what would you like the serve doors to do next? Dom, do you mind if I make a quick beer? Go ahead. Sweet. I'll be right back. It's gotta be quick though. Right, well... I know. The four who are engaged are still gonna fight. Right, okay. Because I do believe those two on the bottom are still both engaged with that one guy there. Uh, they can be, yes. Um, if... This one moves to... Here. Can he yeah. fight? Uh, yes, he can very easily attack Kallus. Can he fight? <laughs> can he fight the other enemy? Jin. The other other enemy. The other servitor. <laughs> ah. True enemy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You you can yeah. attack. Does he guard. does he block the way by doing that? I can't remember. Move through. You moves. can move through allies. Right. Okay. Cool. You just you'll, can't end in the same space. You'll just move there, then, and everyone will try punching everything else. All right. Cool. Are you? How do you want to attack? Do you want a half action aim attack, or do you want an all out attack? For those who didn't move. Uh -huh. Half-action aim attack. Right. Actually, no, we're all out because dodging's for the weak people. Like me. We're, we're all out. Right, we're, okay. With the four who were in combat, we're all out. With the one who moved, we'll just do a standard attack. Right, okay. So, what we'll do is we'll start with this guy here. So, roll a d100 for me. I'll be so happy if we manage to not even lose the servitor here. Okay, that guy misses. So, now attacking this guy, can you roll another d100? The servitor jams. Just out of... Uh, um, wow, that's actually kind of upsetting. Nope, sorry. You were... You were six points off hitting that one. <laughs> because with all-out attack, you get a plus 30 due to the ganging up. You... Oh, wait, no, actually, hang on. You would have actually hit that one. Because 30 for all-out attack... 10 for... Oh, wait, no, you don't get the plus 10 for a single attack on an all-out attack. But there's two ganging ups. Yes, but that only gives you the plus 20. Blah. Which, so puts, plus him 50, on, which yeah. puts him on... Which puts him on an 85 or less. <laughs> oh, well. I find this hilarious. Yep, right. Uh, attack... You can attack with this guy, so roll another d100. 
That guy actually hits. My guy's going to attempt to dodge. He does. Right, so now you can attack with both of these guys, with all that attacks if you want. That one hits. Oh, I'll roll damage. I pull for that hit. So the top brutally beats man to death. Well, yeah, these things aren't... He's definitely dead. There's no way for me to sugarcoat this. That guy is definitely dead, as he basically... This servitor basically grabs him by the head and just kind of pulls it out, Predator-style. How did he do 19 damage? Um, well, he has a strength of 50. Una and unnatural strength. Attacks... No? No, and there are attacks to be 1d10 plus 4. Oh. So he rolled a 10, got the plus 4 from 14, and then the plus 5 from his strength gave him 19. Nice. Okay, I can live a lot. Yeah. Well, would you rather he did less damage than the guy wasn't dead? Well, no, but I'm just wondering. So well, don't worry. I know how my NPCs work. <laughs> you guys are really lucky these guys never hit you very hard. So that means I've got one Civitor freed up still, don't I? Uh, yes, you do. The guy on the bottom left. Oh, let's check distances. You can't charge, you need a minimum of four minutes. But I, 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 yeah, move over, slap him, and then I ruled the 11 there for the roll to hit, because I thought I was attacking. Oh, well, that, that still hits either way. Yeah. Let me just roll that again. He is also dead. As basically this servitor just kind of almost. You know how C-3PO walks with his arms like this, and he's like, ooh, oh my, oh no, oh no, oh no. The Servitor C-3PO's himself up to there, and basically just takes his hands and just embeds them in this guy's chest. <laughs> <laughs> and he drops oh, to the ground, leaking important fluids. Okay. The degree is a success. The top and the down. This right. is concerning to me, Sean. What is? Your turn right now. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Okay. I'm just, you know, very scared for, uh, you know, Dorvan. Oh, he'll be fine. Um. He's essentially, he's going to move... Tell that to Finnick. Hey, Finnick was a noble sacrifice in the name of freedom. That's exactly what I will say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He he walks past um, Nast and Jin and and the uh, the other servitors, and he basically starts trying to corral the uh, the surrendered spy text to the bottom half of the room, away from the currently going on firefight. I suppose. Speaking of which. Okay, let's have a look. So the guy trying to stab that Servitor misses. The guy trying to stab Callister. Ooh. Is Callister back yet? Nope. That's not quick. Uh, what's his bonus on that? Can you just, uh... Okay, that one actually hits. Um, group decision. Do you think Callister will attempt to parry or dodge or nothing? He would definitely attempt uh, to do whichever something. one he would be better for him. Yeah, I suppose. Hang on, let me open his character sheet. Since he's not here. Probably parrying yeah, he his sense, him. isn't it? Yeah, he is a, a melee machine. Um, Dodges train. Yeah, it's parry at a plus 10. Yeah, cool. So he's. Ooh, does he have counter attack yet? Um, no, he does not. Okay, that guy also misses. And then the guy who had... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I know what he's going to do. He's going to shoot the civilians. No! What's his strength bonus? He's going to throw a grenade. Grenade. Yep. Somebody close that door. <laughs> Sorry about that. Did I miss anything? Uh, yeah, a guy tried to stab you, but you parried him. Nice! We took a group decision and thought you probably wouldn't want to die, so... 
there's your parry roll there. You think I would have died from that? What? You might have. You don't oh. know. Watch him utterly miss and then just slaughter the fucking spire text, by the way. <laughs> right, uh, Nast, roll a d8 for me. Oh, we got it, though. Isn't That's one that just... way? <laughs> roll a d10 for me. What happens if it goes like. Alright. Low numbers. Ah. Oh. Oh. Right. Um roll a D three for me. One, two, three. It's gonna go that way. Two meters, so it goes there. That's Wasn't basically what the eight for like the cardinal direction from him? If it's he not from him, it's from where he aims. So he oh. throws it, it should have landed here, but it scatters up five meters. Oh. So three meters hits it on this wall, and then the D3 determines the direction it bounces off in this direction. So it's bouncing off two, two meters in this direction. So it's actually better for him, technically. Technically, yes, although he is going to hit his two friends oh, there. Yeah, who have used all their reactions. Although I think you still get a dodge out of an explosion. Can, as a reaction, I get one of the server tours to, like, Jump on the grenade. Um, I will give you a dodge check to attempt to jump on the grenade. A dodge check with the servitor. Watch out. Yep. So, 15 or less. Nah, it's good. That's a firm no. <laughs> okay, so. Nast, Jin, Callister. And I need to roll... Or Dorvin. How far is your dodge range, by the way? Uh, it's, equal to your, it's equal to your agility modifier. Oh, yeah, that. So dodge, I assume? Uh, yeah, unless you just want to sit there and take it. Let me think about it. Okay, um, Adam, do you want to try to dodge with the servitors as well? Yes, I don't get one of them because I just used it for. Yeah, some... let's say top left, you don't get the reaction for. Was I okay. overlapping? What's the range of this oh, range, by the way? Three meters. Damn, I was hoping I would like dodge this way, <laughs> bastard. No, unfortunately, you have to dodge out the other way. What Man. was your question? Uh, I don't have a reaction, it doesn't matter. I answered my own. I think, I think you can still dodge out the explosive, though. No, you need a reaction to it. Right, oh, it's okay. not an agility okay. test, it's a dodge test. Right, uh, so one of them manages to get it out of the way. It's the one to the left of Callister. Callister. Okay. Let's put him on the other side of Callister. He's like the most sensible one in this entire group of servitors. I know. Uh, Jin, I need you to make a dodge check for me. Okay. Please don't get hit by a second grenade. No modifiers. No modifiers. Nice. I failed miserably. Oh, nice. You can spend a fate point to re to re-roll it. Okay. Um if you do want that. I'm not trying to pressure you into spending your fate points. Please for love of God do it. Probably do it. There, you go. there we so, go. Can you move uh at least two meters to the like right or like in this direction or something? Basically away from here. Yep, cool. Okay, let me roll for those guards. Nope. Nope. Okay. Damage time. Okay, so, servitors, let's have a look. What is your damage reduction to the body? Okay, so you both take... Okay, the one on the far left, which attempted to dive on the grenade, is looking a bit worse for wear, but it's still functioning. The one between him and the remaining guard, um, basically just gets blown apart and like peppered with shrapnel, and it just drops to the ground. Oil and sparks flying out from its exposed grenade wounds. Not oil, Counter. sparky. 13 damage, pen zero. That's against me? 
attacks against you. Okay, that is 13 damage, pen zero. I have eight damage reduction on the body, which does five, taking me to two. I was on seven earlier. Okay. The guy who um, Kalisda had been punching up a bit, um, similar to Kalisda, he just, their attention is clearly on each other. They don't really pay attention to this small kind of green cylinder that gets thrown through the air. Um, so when it does cook off and the shrapnel kind of blows out and embeds in their, their chest, they both kind of get peppered and start bleeding. But the guy, Kalisda, is currently fighting and he's clearly not having a good day. And a large, probably about three inch, a metal shard embeds itself in his throat. Oh! You, know, you watch his blood just starts to pour out of him like a waterfall. Jesus! And he, kind of, and he kind of like reaches out towards you, and you can see through his like semi-tinted goggles, like the pain and the fear in his eyes. And he like looks you dead in the eyes. And oh! He, he goes full Peter Parker in Infinity War. <laughs> Before he gets the ground. Alistair! Please! Alistair! I don't feel so good. I don't want to go. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, that I did guy. only punch him. You did. You did only punch him. That's true. Right. The guy who threw the grenade kind of like freezes slightly, and he realizes what he's just done, and he gets a bit sheepish. But we'll see if he lives long enough to regret it. Nast. Mm. I'd, I'd like to just stroll up the. Can I see him from here? Uh, yes, I'll say you can. Alright, I'd like to stroll up to here, say wrong move, and shoot him with a shotgun. Go for it. Single shot, close range, scatter, plus 30, like before. Yep. Very okay. accurate, unlike yeah. before. Three sets of damage for me, please. I will not spend the fate point to do more damage. Even though it's very tempting, because wouldn't it be like seven damage? Actually, is this guy unhurt, right? So far, yes. Nah, that was not worth it. Other people have turns. One. Fuck. Two. Three. Really? Well, don't forget, you can substitute that one for a seven. I'd like to. So you do... Eleven. Yeah. Um, explain to me how you'd like this gentleman to die. Yeah, as as they should looking down like, oh fuck, what did I do? I just ran the corner. Wrong move. Shoot him and just pellets in bed shooting out his back and he just falls over very peacefully. Loud, makes a you know, blood pool angel on the floor. Just you know, sleeps in very naturally. Okay. Somehow still the most humane death that's happened so far. <laughs> Jin, you're up. There is technically one enemy left, but he's on the other side of everybody else. Let's see. That's within uh, charging range. And there's uh, dead bodies, so I should be able to make it right next yeah, yeah. to him. You can. Yep, so same as before. Ganging up plus 20 for charge. Uh, plus 10 for ganging up. Plus 20 for charge. Yep. Yep, barely made it. It's still calculating the degrees of success wrong. Yes. Like, it's counting the actual success, and then even if it's just one digit less, there's another one. So you, on, you only managed to... Actually, hang on. No, you just dodged the grenade, so you only managed to land one hit. That's fine. Yeah, roll damage. Yeah, he's in a world of hurt, if not dead. I would... Oh, yeah, I technically should have asked Sebastian to roll to confirm his righteous furies as well, but the guy was dead anyway, so similarly to here. 
you run over the grenade scorched patch of the floor. Um, you kind of s sidestep past Caster and Nast and the, the remaining Serpentor that stood up. And you kind of do like a reverse spin. And as you sort of come around, you holding your, your mace in one hand, slam it into him. And it goes right through his, um, his torso and kind of impacts on the wall. And as you pull the mace back, the blood and the, the part of his, his torso tissue that is still sort of clinging to it just starts to fizzle and burn off as his corpse slumps to the ground and starts to pool vital fluids around him. Should I, like, go see a therapist or something? I feel I'm becoming increasingly concerned by these descriptions. No, that seems no normal to me. That goes through my head regularly. <laughs> it's only natural, Sean. Embrace it. Don't reject it. Sure, what could possibly go wrong? I feel anyway. the warp overtaking me! Apart from that. Good so, let's just close that down. You have control of this room. As the, the spire technicians are kind of just um, stood there. Um, weapons, weapons dropped. The two guards at the, at the far end of the room have also put their weapons down or down on their knees, their, their hands behind their heads. Nice. Callister uh, feels over the uh, scorched part of his face that was facing the uh, the explosion and yeah. wipes away the uh, bits of shrapnel that have embedded themselves in his arm and whatnot and looks over to Lucia with a plea of help on his face. And... Lucian goes and does what he does every single battle, it seems like, and that's patched him up. Um, Let me get the bio duct tape. <laughs> nice. Um, I will ask Dolvin to, you know, gather the uh, POVs, uh, near, like, near the longest walls, basically, like, line them up so, you know, they don't start running off and doing weird shit all over the place. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you can I tell they look a little bit nervous from the fact that this looks decidedly like a firing line. <laughs> Callister, here's a shotgun. Now watch out, oh, fuck! Oh, God, no. He shot himself as well. <laughs> well, you know, depends on how they behave. No, um... Yeah, so, Dolvin, this one man has somehow managed to crowd this group of almost 12 <laughs> or 15 people. Yeah, against uh, one I will... I will ask Rallus to return the Servitus and go get uh, Marco, add him to the line, and for somebody to, for the love of God, help Dolvin. <laughs> okay. Hang on, um, so, what was that? I missed that there. Um, basically, no, the Servitus are fucked up, you know. Return them to you, bring your, like, Dude, over here, so we have the prisoners in one place, and let's go look at stuff in here. Um, I would like to help Dorvin and basically just like you know, kick ass you like, you know, relax if you do not you know resist you know no harm will come to you. This is a peaceful transition of power from you know one group to another. Basically pretend like full on whatever Nast thinks um, you know military talk is of like you know you know if you just keep your head down and everything will be fine but you know from a person that's definitely been in the military before <laughs> which nast hasn't depends on what your definition of a military is i was part of an armed group no you were part of a gang an armed group that's in in conflict zones uh, right, Definitely okay. so military. You, you basically go through the the speech of you know if you don't resist everything will be fine. Yeah. Okay. They appear to be not resisting. Unarmed, currently stood against the wall. Quickly, <laughs> get him over the heavy stuffer. No. Um. Quick, stand in the corner. They're stood in a straight line. You don't even have to aim. <laughs> um. Well. Yeah. I am. I'm still very nervous because there's a closed door over there, and I really actually. I'll point to a random person in the line. You. What's your name? He can give me his name without having, you actually having to make one up. Okay. And then I'll ask him. You know, what's behind door number one? Uh, that's the emergency generator for flight control. Is it guarded from the other side? 
the sergeant was in there with a couple more techs. All right. Seems our job here isn't done. Uh, who here are the doors? Let, let, let me try this one. Uh oh. So I'm just going to walk from one side of the room to the other. Okay. I would like to join him. Okay. And then knock on the door and be like, hello. <laughs> um, there is a slight delay, but you do get a response of, um, hello. Hi, we're the people who just killed or captured everyone else out in this room. Would you like to surrender now? There is another very short delay and you hear them go. Um, he has a grenade. We have a Callister. <laughs> we don't know what that is. Much, much worse. <laughs> There's a <laughs> maniacal laughter in the background. <laughs> I mean, it's like if it was up to us, we would. Up, and then you hear someone like, it sounds like someone just got pistol whipped or something. And it's like ah, and you hear another distinct, another voice that says, "If you open that door, I'm gonna blow this thing, and this entire room loses power. And then whatever you try to capture it for is gonna be worthless." Oh, no, no, we're not actually... We don't care. We've already captured the main generator. That's not a big deal. The mirrored backup's not a problem for us. We're just trying to give you the out to not die. That's what we're trying to do. Um, How many people did they say that was in there? The sergeant and two techs. Two techs. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> I would like to step up. And say, well, before you say anything, you the the um, the the second voice comes over the the comm again and says, "I have your word that no one's going to be harmed." Yes, you do. And there's how many people do we have captured out here? Uh, someone give me a quick count because I'm uh, kinda... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Is it nineteen or twenty or eighteen? Somewhere around that number. See, so the, this precedence, and if you'd like, you can even, I don't know, do you have two-way visual thing on this? Or, you know, I start looking at the, the thing and looking for, like, no. a camera. It's just uh, just audio. Well, I mean, they're, they're all, there's, like, you know, all the techs are alive and most of the guards. We only killed, all right, maybe not most of the guards, but, you know, a couple <laughs> of the guards are still. <laughs> That's only because they shot at us first. There's a, there's a slight pause and you hear him say, All right, I'm putting my weapons down, just give me a minute. And then you hear the sound of a metallic clunk on the ground. Hey, Nast, you gonna make these people join us as well? Uh, I, I don't make anyone join us. That is a free choice that many people have taken of their own volition. You speak big words, I don't get it. said it with a straight face, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so after a while, the, um, the the panel kind of blips a little bit, and the doors in front of you open. You can see the uh, the back of generator opens up. There are the two spy attacks, and the sergeant is down on his knees, hands in the air. His, oh, well, uh, thanks, his you didn't have to do that. Head. So I just kind of like wave the um, the heavy stuff around and tell them to join the others. Okay. Yep. They also join the ever growing lineup of prisoners. <laughs> Fuck. Who at this point could probably just overwhelm you through sheer numbers. But let's... Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that line is less than twenty meters long. <laughs> okay. All right. So... so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna escort you all back to the. Um, security control I... room and put you in the cells in there so that way you're out of the way and you can't get up to any uh, Sean, is the security cell big enough for this many people? Uh... Does it matter? At a squeeze? Not the butt. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. So, in that case, just... Talk amongst yourselves while I ferry 20 people to the cells. Nice. So, we got this room. 
Ah. Uh, how 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 well does sound like carry through like this place? I don't know. Do you want to do an acoustics check for me? I get out my guitar. Okay. Uh, give me an awareness test. <laughs> um, like actually, or no. You are like... you are all slightly befuddled as Nast pulls up one of the chairs from one of the spy techs who have just been you've just escorted to the prison room and he just goes and now for some reason he has Wonderwall. Are you serious? Again, Obviously, my, you know, my no. guitar is like an old like stick and then like uh, a single string. Cool. Okay. Oh. I actually, thanks just so you're oh. aware, in case you hadn't noticed, the prison cell is starting to get quite cramped. Yes. And I have an idea to solve that. We're hungry. Rallus, get your flavor. Um... He hasn't got the fuel to spare. Put them up into Please teams. do not make me a liar. Put them up <laughs> into various teams around the facility and have them start um... a miniature hunt. No, we still have their we have their lounge that we could always put them into. That's that's what I wanted. Got nothing in there. But first, is there like food or can we all just like can we do a one so in this room to like see what we can use it to and do stuff before we like can we just like look around the flight control to see like what controls do we have from within here before we start planning a lot? Uh, sure. Give me an awareness test. Right. Uh, but, but, uh, awareness. I can do this. Except not. Now, with minus 10. Yeah, I'll, I'll join in as well and ah! give it a try. Every fucking time. Oh, um, I'm not bothered. Never mind. With tech use, Rallis. Me with tech use. you have a different kind of skill set to base it on. Yeah. Any modifiers? No. Okay. Okay, well. Again, considering your background was as essentially a truck driver. Yeah. Right. Um, hey, I got a two-degree success. Nast, yes. You have a quick look around. A lot of the actual more terminals themselves have a bunch of... A lot of um, coded communications and kind of overlays and stuff showing up. But the larger um, terminals have holographic projections. Um, the big one in the center of the chamber itself has an, uh, a holographic display of um, Kaivar and Lysaeus. Um, Kaivar obviously dwarfs the, um, the moon with it being the, you know, the actual planet. And you can see um, little pinpricks of light kind of dotting across the surface of the city to kind of show different... Um, ports and shipping centers and all that kind of stuff that like say it's very regularly ships materials to back and forth and where they get their influx of indentured servants um on lyceus itself um again you see small pinpricks of light which you probably assume represents the individual prison spires themselves um you can see a lot of them have these red sort of blinking lights um you don't really know what that means um you see between lyceus and kaivar there is a sort of a a square um if you stared at it for a while you'd probably see that there is um indication that it is moving slowly towards lyceus how um, measuring with my fingers like how like one third two thirds of the way like ish like, you know, putting up a thumb, like, okay, there's like three thumbs up, and then five thumbs further, like... Probably about a third of the way there. Alright. Loads of time! We got plenty of time, you know? Hey. Okay. Rallus? Uh, Rallus, um... Unless you want a fate point? Hey, hey, Yes, Rallus. some might. I'm, I may as well burn them this session. What, what does that big square represent? Uh, can I make a logic test for that one? Do you it's it's basically to like... Yeah, I'll reroll for a second. Sebastian? Shush. I'll have a fudge my life. Do you wanna... Do you wanna... 
Okay, yeah, so, again... I've already done better on the perception check. <laughs> right, and so, you don't... Um, if you want to... Do you want to identify what the little square thing is, Rallis? I don't know if it's just something I would know, like... Have we, have we heard... No, no, I'm saying if you yeah. want to if you want to go and try to like yeah, well, I'll try to identify it. What it is. Yeah, give me a tech use plus ten. Way. <laughs> one. Yes, you can absolutely figure out what it. Jesus Christ, you can absolutely figure out what it means with your. I think like nine degrees of success. Um. You. Key in a couple of commands in the terminal itself, and after you kind of transition through a different couple of screens showing the... When you kind of key in some commands, the, the hololith disp display kind of changes. You see one that shows the close-range airspace around the main control spire itself. You can see that there are a couple of patrol craft still just circling around. Um, it looks like they're not doing anything specific. They're just kind of circling. Um, you key through again, and you see like a more top-down view of... Again, the main control spire is centered in the middle, but then you see a larger area around it. Um, smaller prison spires kind of dotted around. Um, this doesn't look like it's the entire, like, it's not like it's a, a flattened out overview of Lysias' surface, but it looks it's like it's within a certain, like, medium range. Like, like an eagle eye view kind of thing of the... Yeah, itself. kind of. It's like the horizon's been stretched out and flattened a little bit. Yeah. But it's obviously not the, in, the entire surface of the moon. Um, and then you so key through it again, and you manage to bring up an actual enhanced vision of the the, the square, and it kind of it it gets pulled up and expanded, um, and since this isn't like CIS or CSI, whatever, like the crime investigating shows where they can just go zoom and enhance, zoom and enhance. Um, enhance. The image is times. still quite grainy, but you can make out the the appearance of what looks like easily a dozen larger. Kaivan Tech Guild warships and accompanying and accompanying patrol craft. Oh fuck. Yay. So what you're telling me is if general tech stuff terrible. Hacking the equivalent of the DVLA, fine. Well, it's not really hacking it. It's trying to figure out what the, yeah. the right button to press is. I suppose, but you know. Right, well yeah. You're excellent at trial and error. <laughs> yeah, that's the Guys, we've got ships inbound. They don't look nice. General ETA. Do I have that, Sean? Uh, you suspect they'll be here in about 12 hours. 12 hours? That's a few hours. Alright, yeah, well. well better, better, better get more asses together then, shouldn't we? Um. No. Let's ask that sergeant dude if he wants to, like, maybe get the people in the bay to surrender for us. Well. I was going to try and do something first, but that no, no, might you. be. Um, so what? <clears throat> so you wanted to like just walk in there and tell them to surrender, or, or how? Essentially. Right, I have a, um, let's go to the break room first, just to like see if that will be useful for some more space. Because if they all surrender. Oh boy, do we have some space issues. Well, they do, which would then become our problem. True. Let's take the long way around, just in case they open the door. What? Which is the long way I, 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 I Basically, Going I am... Up instead of down. Because I'm uncomfortable walking past this place. Just oh. cats. Oh, you're going to the break room? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said go to the brick room. I was like, why would you go the long way? <laughs> okay. okay, yeah. Um, so what, you're just heading to, like, the rec room? Y does it look like they would have food or water supplies in there? Um, from what you've seen, no, probably not. Maybe in this little whatever this is over here? It was, it was backup generator. Is that what it is? Yeah. No, that just looks like a storage room. Maybe in there. So there's actually no food or water supplies. Fuck. Okay. Well, what's in what's in what's in there? If we went in there, there's not like a manifest or anything. You have to actually go and check. 
All right. Well, uh, let's Wagner, go. Yeah. Let's go check that. Relis, can you turn off the electronics in the break room so that it, like no way to talk out? Maybe even pull them out of the pull the thing out of the room altogether. Whatever this thing is. I am very confused. I don't we... think I was able to. Only could access cameras and stuff. Couldn't actually affect any doors or anything. I think what he's asking is, would you be able to like physically disable them if you were there? Probably. Yes. Yeah. So can yeah. you do that while we check out this little storeroom, which is right here? I don't see any place you're pointing. Yeah, I never do. Dragging you over. Is that a storeroom? Oh, that's, that's what Sean just said. Yeah, that that's a storeroom. Okay. Where's Rallis? There's Rallis. And then Rallis can look at this thingy. Don't forget me. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but you know. Rallis is now a giant. Fear me, for I have ascended. <laughs> okay, Rallis, well, you are in the break room. Um, there is some hollow pool and some comfy looking chairs and what looks like a entertainment hollow lift system. There is like an, a com link button on the wall, so if you want to give me just like a flat, like a plus 20 tech use test on that. Uh, while you're doing that, uh, Lucian and Nast, you go to investigate the storage room. Uh, it's a bit cramped. It's obviously not designed for multiple people to go in and out a lot all the, the same time. Um, there are a collection of crates. They're not securely locked or anything. Um, they have a fairly wide arrangement of things. There are some, there are some items of like food and water. Um, but it's like emergency rations. It's like emergency rations in case the floor has to be laid, locked down for any for any particular reason. Um, Good enough. Doesn't look like it's enough to sustain like a large number of people indefinitely. Oh, I I maybe... want. Go on. I want to specifically take enough food and water rations to where maybe two thirds of the people we have in prison can like get food and water, unless they're like specifically. For how long? Just, just like right now. There's, just there's like... enough that there's enough that you could feed and water them all for like maybe a day or two. I just want to like you know just you know get like just right now like a like a small bottle of water or whatever enough to where what, they like you know... each. No, no, to like two thirds of them. Make sure like two thirds of them. So some right, of them okay. have to go without unless they're rationed specifically. Okay, yeah, you can you can manage that. You manage to kind of rearrange the contents of the boxes and you actually grab one of the boxes themselves. Um, so you have a, a box of bottled water. All right. Perfect. Guys, is there any flame or fuel in there? Give me an awareness check. I'm not there. Am I? No, 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 but if you're asking them, they can check for you. Yeah. Can I check? If you want, yeah. And any other interesting stuff. Nope, okay. nothing of interest here. I can I can roll with minus and now, ten. And now he passes on the minus ten. Nope. Close. But it's closer. <laughs> I love that skill, but I, it's also really weird. It's yeah, very weird. That's yeah. that's why when you go to the tech use test though, I was like, oh, but I've got to reroll on the awareness. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunate. Okay. Um, unfortunately, there is no flame of fuel available in there. It's fine, there's plenty in the jets. Now, question, before we go talk to the sergeant, are there specifically any... anybody else that has any social skill whatsoever, other than me? There's Lave. Lave is currently helping coordinate everything from the security room. Can, can, can he I'm just help? naturally persuasive. Can, can he around. mechanically help me? Yes, he can mechanically give you a plus 10. Alright. If he passes a command. So, oh, I have... A... Okay, no, 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 no. I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to essentially allow him to assist him. Oh. By basically so. just standing in the back, in like, on the far side of the doorway, just going, Yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! This lady what? becomes mass type man. <laughs> <laughs> Which is literally the opposite of our backgrounds. He somehow yeah. find a Whoa, couple of revolution! <laughs> He's find a couple of pom poms. <laughs> sure. So 
So are you as you heading up to discuss things with the commander or the sergeant? We want the sergeant to convince the people to surrender in the hangar. So right. the first thing I want to do is basically like you know in you know you have all surrendered and therefore you are owed an explanation as what has happened. So basically I want to bullshit them into like this is actually like you know a wide revolution of I'm just uh, going to I'm just going to drag this over to the actual prison okay. room. Yeah. Um, this is just me going things over you first, Sean. Oh, like right, okay. Stuff. So first, I'll tell them this is just like slight, you know, not full bullshit, but you know, this is a very big revolution where we've had been assisted by several people from the inside, and as such, you know, this is not just a prisoner revolution. This is, you know, an anti-technocracy revolution. You know, it's an evolution of ideology, not of people. You know, so they think they all aren't being surrounded by a bunch of violent prisoners since we're wearing guard armor in the hopes they don't, you know, panic. Uh, second, I want the sergeants, sergeants, um, like aid to surrender people. And then be, I want to give them the water. That's not enough for all of them. So unless they specifically ration to some of them, I want to like observe them as some are left without. So I can use that to like polarize the groups and maybe like, you know, drag a few over to our side, if you know what I mean, of like, hey, fuck you, technician, this is my ward, kind of like, aha, there's a person that, you know, basically I want to, like, observe them and, like, pick out targets to, you know, try and recruit. Okay. The people that are disliked by the others, basically. Well, we can have that actual conversation when we get back from our break, as we've been <gasps> for just over an hour now. So, uh, while we go in get some water and debate over who's going to be able to drink it, apparently. Um, <laughs> why don't you guys who are watching at home um, like the video or leave a comment or subscribe and shit. All and that. Tweet it. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Insert random sellout comment here. <laughs> I hate all of you. Sellout comment. Every, every 13 week. has been selected. Hello, we'll you. We'll be back in a bit. Right, welcome back. Now, uh, I believe Nast is going to be making a heartfelt speech to uh, some recently interned people. That's where you're or, wrong, kiddo. Or water boarding them, I'm not quite sure. All I know is he brought water. Let's change that to enough water for everybody. Okay, so you brought enough water for everybody. So the water boarding can go around. Oh, great. So. Or you can maybe, like, super water board one person. That's true. That's... Oh. Somebody write that down. Um, okay. So. Um. Yeah. Uh, the, the prisoners, as we let them through, like, see Marco, like, walk with them and then, like, not get put in here? Uh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'll, Nast will, like, walk forward and say, hmm. Now, you're all probably somewhat concerned and confused as to your current situation, and what you're doing here and what's going to happen to you. I am here to tell you that and make it, you know, very clear. So long as you stay calm and do not try and resistors, you'll be fine. You're basically, you know, prisoners of war during this change of rule and overthrowing of the government. However, those of you who prove, well, helpful in this transition will, you know, will be remembered and supported at the end of this change. We have more than one person within this by aiding us both after and before the revolution. Such as... Um, is Marco here? No, he's okay. still... Okay, you, you will have seen some of those that have chosen to aid us. Whether you recognize them or not, I'll not share their names. Hmm. However, I brought you some water for your stay may be somewhat long. And... Sergeants, I've come to ask for your help to avoid full bloodshed. 
Oh, more death. He's just kind of stood in front of the doors, um, well, behind the doors for me, I suppose. His, uh, his arms folded behind his back, just kind of waiting to see what you have in mind. Hmm. There are more people on this floor whom we have not approached yet. And with your help, we may do so more peacefully than with you and less bloodshed. If you could convince them to surrender without any bloodshed, we would not have to kill as many as we did with you. Or you could join them and make them prepared, and a bloody long fight could ensue. You might even win, but then reinforcements from our groups would proceed down from further levels and such, and they would inevitably die. So, would you be willing to try and save these, well, your men's lives? He kind of takes a deep breath for a moment and then kind of like looks down at his feet and he says, while I can commend you on your... <sighs> civility in how you handled and he kind of gestures to the, the spire techs and the remaining guards who you brought in with, him, with our apprehension um, you have to appreciate that not all of us are going to so willingly betray the tech guilds and our families and those who provide for us while I appreciate that you have been dealt a rather sorry deal in your lives, either that being through your own action or through some admittedly rather harsh let's call it penal system that the tech guilds operate. In truth, I do not believe that you'll be able to hold this fire. Mm. As we speak, I'm aware that reinforcements are on the way and they should be able to retake the moon within the week. And whether you kill us before then or not I'll not dirty my hands by betraying those who have placed me where I am he says kind of looking around realising that you've placed them in a cell <laughs> hmm. I can understand that sergeant um fuck um no my name is Johnson hmm not sergeant what? fuck sergeant of course it <laughs> is Okay. No, his name is not. That was. was it yeah, bad okay. I, 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 sorry, I was just uh, trying to like go through what he said. As the Halo uh, theme plays in the background. <laughs> <laughs> but first of all, I very much disagree that the tech guilds are provided for you. Maybe your fellow man, maybe the, even the leaders here have. But looking at the situation of the spire and what allowed this to take root in the first place. I would very much say the tech guilds have done anything but provide for you, but I can understand where you come from. Secondly, from where you stand, I can see you believe that the reinforcements, your reinforcements, will take this moon. I can assure you that will not be the case, but if you wish to continue your stance and continue your place, then fellow bloodshell shall Full bloodshed shall be had, more will die, and more suffering will be caused. But if your honor dictates, or your morale dictates that all of us must suffer for your hands to be clean, then so be it, Sergeant. Ooh. That's one world class guilt trip right there. I know, right? <laughs> he kind of stands up a little more straight, as he somehow manages to tuck his arms even further behind his back. He says, all I will say on the matter is that I abstain from providing assistance to yourselves if more bloodshed must be had in pursuit of your liberation, then so be it. But I shall have no part in trying to secede Lysaeus from the, from the Union. I will not speak for anyone else who is currently held in these cells. If they wish to join you, it is of their own volition and they can deal with the consequences, as it were, whatever they may be. Uh, yeah, I will, like, you know, look past them and say, you, 
Don't a few have friends, family, people you care about up here? Um, if so... I'm sorry, go on. If so, there's now a chance for you to avoid bloodshed. To maybe save the lives of those you care. Any takers? The sergeant himself has said that... Well... He will... He will not be the one to punish you now, and I can guarantee you there will be nobody to punish you later. Um, what social skills have you got? Uh, intimidate, uh, um, lie, and charm, I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. Uh, I do have charm, I do have deceive, and I do have... Uh, this is, uh, where's intimidate? I lost my scary speak! Ah, there it is. Um, I also have, uh, uh, what's it called? The thing where you look at people and understand them. Scrutiny? Yes, that one. Right. Based on the conversation that we've just had, um, I'm going to say it's going to be a charm minus 10 test, but Lave is giving you a plus 10. Hype manning in the background. Woo! Freedom! <laughs> um, so you just want to make a flat charm test. And we'll see if anyone is swayed by your words. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll Holy shit. Fate points to make it better, be better. No, not, not for the sake of okay. one additional degree. Uh, okay. One of the guards kind of steps up next to the sergeant and he says, Right, look. I'm not going to help you fight. Um, I'm not going to try to get any of the other ones to stand down because... Well, if they listen to their training at all, they're not going to. But I've got a couple of mates stationed around the spire and I don't want any of them getting killed for nothing. So... Give you a bit of pre-warning, I suppose. Give you a little bit more heads up about what's coming. I ain't gonna help you fight, but if there's anything I can do to help you not murder me mates. Uh, what was the place the last um, tech dudes went to not get shut the fuck up? Was that not the living quarters? Uh, no, but everyone from flight control is in the cell now. No, 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 like downstairs at the generator room where they said we're going to fuck off and not get shot. Was that not the living quarters? They, you know, basically were going to barricade themselves in. Uh, yeah, more or less. Yeah. Well, I can appreciate and understand this. Um, we are going to attempt to make sure, we're going to see if we can make the living quarters as untouched by this war as possible. Stay in there, you'll hopefully get an alarm saying all is done and you know you can now surrender once this whole debacle is over however just for security reasons we will wait to send you up until this floor is completely secure but i if you don't mind me asking what's to stop us not just going to the secure to the the hard levels well, if we go up to the security floor or main control. Um, is he basically asking, like, what's going to stop him from just fucking off? More or less, yeah. I look him in the eyes. Because I hope for the sake of you and your friends that you have more intelligence, common decency, and honor than that. You could pick up your rifle, return spill your beans of everything you've seen you could make this tough long fight the only thing that would change is how many die i'm not confident because i think i'm a god i'm confident because i have seen things you have not i have made precautions you have not <laughs> seen and i have allies you have not heard of and i can tell you with guarantee 
whichever side you pick in this fight, whichever side any of you pick in this fight, even should I die, I shall still win. Strike me down and I should become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> exactly. Also, I just love the fact that you're saying, I know a Primark, I know a Primark. And <laughs> yeah, like, basically. It's just like, eh, da, 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 da. Um, <laughs> I have seen things you could not even fathom. <laughs> he kind of like looks you up and down and says, while I appreciate that you're being quite civil about this whole matter, you have to understand that you are essentially an army of criminals and terrorists. Again, and philosophers. I'm sure, I'm sure there are a lot of you who have been put here for unjust reasons, and I, for that, I apologize. But what guarantee do we have from you <laughs> that even? Do you mind? Now, I what do. Guar... What guarantee do we have that even if we were to go to the hab level and not take up arms against you again, and that if you ship in more of your prisoner friends, they won't come up to the half levels and slaughter us while we sit there in defense? Like, defenselessly. Well. What authority do you have over your would-be brothers? Me. <laughs> I will stand guard. Um, two, two things. We will not say you have to be defenseless on the half levels. We just say, inform you that you will have to be ready to surrender once the all clear comes through. And secondly, I have no rank. I am no sergeant. I am no general. I am no brute slaughterer, but well, I am no brute. He reacts. Um, but my co I'm speaking here with you rather than the fellows you've seen because they have chosen and decided to let me. Not because I've forced them not because I have some rank, not because I shouted the loudest, because they chose me. We are not some gathering of a random flock. We are a unit. We are people. We are a revolution, as we call ourselves. We speak from the same mind, the same ideas. There's not a revolution of people or armies or weapons. This is a revolution of ideas, of methods. And I will put mine and everything to the defense of those that are not des who do not deserve an injustice, death, or fight. That is what this entire revolution is about. For those to take away suffering, for those that do not deserve it, to place away the pain and death of women and children who have never chosen their lives, most of you probably chose to be here. Some of you didn't. Some of you might not want to be here, but here you are now. And I'm trying to reduce the suffering that you will receive for choices that are not yours. So that that may be the future for the entire Kaivan system. Well, this is not for you. I can't say. But is this hope enough for you? That's for you to choose. For a recently released prisoner, you've got a lot of fancy words to say. And while I appreciate... I, po I and... point to Lave in the background. Yeah, he I... did this. <laughs> while, while I appreciate what you say, and while I appreciate... And I understand that you do believe everything you say. Don't for a second think that I didn't notice the blood staining the floors we walked through to get here. This isn't a revolution of ideas. This is a revolution of murder, no matter which way you look at it. And for your best intentions, you cannot guarantee the safety of myself or these other people while we stay in the hab levels, even if you allow us to defend ourselves. We are safest here, where at least if nothing else, we are under your almost direct supervision, as it were, he says, kind of sassily. She says... Well, we appreciate the fact that you have kept us here safe. You didn't harm us. You gave us the opportunity to stand down. We will not be assisting you any further. Oh, well. Hot dang. We tried. Did, did he basically go back on the, I will go, like, see if I have some friends? Or, or no, was, we, he... was he basically saying he will take them down here instead? 
no, the, what, basically what you got from your success was he said he would maybe try to give you some information if he could. That would help. That would maybe help. But then the conversation took a different turn. Oh, I forgot the thing that he was basically, I'll go upstairs and then get some friends and like make sure my mates are not hurt by this. War. Oh, no, no. He's, he was basically saying, you know, is there anything I can do to stop you murdering my mates? And the conversation took a different turn. So we, they basically, they shut down and they're saying they're just going to stay where they are now. All right. Well, more murderers. Valiant effort. Yeah, very. How ah, well. I start reloading my shotgun. Thank you for volunteering for future servitor duties. <laughs> no, they have the water. I have had my role. And I misunderstood what Sean said, so let's go murder some people. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Murder. Murder I'm time, fun time. Yeah. So, um, should I drive you guys back over to flight control? Sure. So I'm guessing I'll just shut down the communications and stuff in there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you basically do. On the off chance that you need to lock anybody else in there. Cool. Okay, so I'll just drag you all back over here. There's Carl's there. Right, so. Yay. What's your plan? I'm going to go up to the door and knock again. See how that works. Seems to be working so far. Uh, which door are you knocking on? The one for the hangar. Before okay. before you do that, can I, with the aid of Marco, see what else can be done with the control room? Flight control room. Yeah. Um, you can absolutely have a look, but it's definitely outside of his area of expertise. Yeah, he's just servitor management, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you guys want me back in the servitors, or do you just want us with you? Uh, can you order servitors to operate the computers, or that's just via technician. I'm guess uh, servitors aren't really that dexterously inclined, or at least these ones aren't. They're more just labor okay. servitors. Okay, can we access the computers and see if they can control the doors to do a quick uh, space vacuum influx to knock out <laughs> or incapacitate people? That was in flight control. That would be in hangar control. Hangar control, not flight control. To the actual hangar itself. Yeah, which is the room Shoot. to the right hand side of the hangar. I mean, if someone snuck in, they might be able to do it. I'm sneaky. But with that many people there, I don't think that would work. Unless there's a panel that can access me via through all this walls. Uh, you are pretty confident that there isn't that. Y yeah. And How all the sh and ventilation shafts that we've encountered are smaller than what rats can fit in. No, rats could probably fit in them. Okay, then let's get some rats, some, uh, Tight whatever to them? explosive compound we can generate, and sh- Remote detonator, feed it to the rats, and just send them through and go kaboom. And then later on, we can curve bullets. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that film was so dull. Agreed. So, what's the what's the plan? Is Lucian leg legitimately going to just go knock on the door? Again, Tim. I mean, I'm not hearing any objections. Calster is an object. I'll go fetch the servitors. <laughs> 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 Sean does not seem. A uh, key card again. We have a key card. You do. Shall we look if any of the people that we have in prison? had a key card of a different color to that door instead. One joke. One joke and they hang on to it for like two seconds. Yes, yes we <laughs> No. Forever and ever.
So you're taking the silver doors back down to... Uh... Yeah. Okay. I think probably Mark was going to be up here with me as well, I guess. Okay. I'll go with you. Jin, you probably be better off doing some of the actual fighting. Yeah, that's let's do some fighting. That's that's what I'm be doing. I'm getting set up to go fight. <laughs> oh right, okay, got you. Right, let me just drag you all across. Set yourselves up as you wish. Oh, what? Uh huh. There you go. Do you all get dragged over? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to set yourselves up as you wish, as in how you wish to enter? Nast, are you just going to stand there? Nope, sorry, give me five seconds. Okay. Can is... I think there's actually not... I... Is this heavy stopper taking the space? Uh, no, we'll say for the time being that Lucian is actually carrying his heavy stopper. Okay. Okay, so, you just going in? Or is Lucien actually knocking? Well, I mean, we can open the door, right? Yes. Let's open the door and we'll try it that way. Okay. And if they just start shooting at us right off the bat, then next time we'll knock because we'll know better. Fair enough. Okay, Will so, that actually um... help? I don't know, but at least like we'll get a shot at it as we're talking to him. It's not wrong. Okay, so someone takes up the keycard and slides it through the, the scanner and both of the doors in front of you part to reveal the same security checkpoint that you walked in through not four or five hours ago. Um it reveals you can only see this gentleman down here but since you have Lave and the other prisoners in the security room they do inform you that there are also these two individuals here they this guy looks up as he sees the door opening and he sees the the line of servitors and the people behind them and he brings up his las carbine to open fire but he hesitates for a second whoa 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 whoa, whoa. before before you do that <laughs> before you do that before you do that, we got a we got a, a thing. We want to talk. We don't want to just you know shoot. Just listen. Put it put it put it down. Like lower it. Thanks. Me. He very he he does like he doesn't like stop pointing it at you, but he kind of holds it at his hip instead of like actually aiming. All right, cool. Can you tell your two buddies who are hiding behind the corner right there to kind of like just you know pop around so they can hear me better? Um, you see him like hesitate for a second, but then he kind of like nods against the far wall. And they do, uh, they, they, they move down to, to about here. All right, check it out. There's three of you and five of us. We don't want to kill you, but your odds are very bad looking at this point. So, you know, you want to surrender. We'll, well, I guess the cell's kind of getting rid of full. full. We'll, we'll put you someplace that's relatively safe that won't get you killed later on or now. You get to get the rec room. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll just move through into the, to the next part of this, which is, you know, the, the rest of the hangar. Unless one of you guys wants to talk to the guys in there for us and get them to surrender as well, that'd be fantastic. I mean, I don't you know, know if I can convince anyone to surrender. Bloodshed is trying to be avoided right now. We'd like to avoid bloodshed if we could. Uh, okay. Um, Tim, give me a plus 10 intimidation check. Yeah, no. You want to fight your point? Yeah, yeah alright, we'll give this one. It was worth it, go. 
Yeah. So you can see they kind of like look between themselves, um, and you can see that they're. You don't. They, they, it looks like they're trying to hide it, but you can see that their their trigger fingers are kind of going around the the trigger guards. So. Okay, level, your level, way. I just level the the yeah. heavy stubber. I'm like, you sure about that? Oh. Yeah, and um, they. <clears throat> Don't really want to have to roll initiative for this because there's no way you'd lose this fight. Um, right, Tim. You can see one guy reaches down for the grenade at his belt, uh, and he looks like. And I just hose him. Yeah, go ahead. Open fire. Short range. Um, I'll give you the benefit of an aim because, well, it just makes sense. Really? Is your ballistic skill 40? No. I think it cancels. No, it shouldn't cancel out. What's it? Actually, yeah, it is, because I can't get it higher than 40 at the moment. All right, okay. Um... Hold on, I'm fate pointing. Okay. That's better. There we go. Okay. Um, Specifically the guy with the grenade. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll not give him a dodge, because he's kind of preoccupied trying to throw this grenade at you. Roll damage for me. Okay. Um, yeah, so he drops to the ground. Oh, I need to check something. Is it not just the one hit? Um. No, I'll give him. I'll, I'll let him have both because it's a strange situation we found ourselves in. He shot the grenade. <laughs> that looks like grenade damage. Let's not say he shot the grenade because that's that would have been like a precise. That would have been a, a cold shot. He shoots the thermal detonator. Oh God. Yeah, okay, so he did manage to actually pull the pin on his grenade before it dropped to the ground. So that guy is dead, but his friends are going to attempt to scatter away from the explosion. Let's have a look. Uh, okay. This guy manages to dive sort of three or so meters away, but the other guy is blasted by the full force of the grenade. Uh, and takes a, a few wounds. Um, he's not... Badly wounded, but he is clearly bleeding and unhappy. These two guys, seeing what's just happened, um, immediately throw down their weapons. Um, the guy who was hit by the grenade shrapnel kind of limps away from his friend's body, um, clutching like the, the a bleeding, a particularly unpleasant bleeding wound like on his ribs. Um, and I will go help him. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Do you guys want to like move into the room? Yes. I'll just assume circles Let's are going to fill up a line at the next. Yeah. Did you actually... Yeah, okay, so he is back up to full wounds, I suppose. Question. You couldn't just listen in the first place, you guys? You just you had to make it difficult? Uh, yeah, that guy was always a bit of a prick. Oh, ow. Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys know how many are actually in there? Uh, enough. Yeah, there's a lot of them. You sure you want to do this? Well, we're going to try talking first and see how that works. Anyone we should recommend in talking to to uh, be a level-headed and reasonable? I mean, as far as I know, there's at least three squads in there. Um... If you want to talk to anyone, it'd probably be the sergeants, but those guys are hard asses. Mm. We know. We know. Was Sergeant Johnson's friends in there? <laughs> His name wasn't Johnson. It was a joke. Stop taking it. Yeah, yeah, it, it, was, it was Sergeant. We, as we clarified, it was Sergeant Fuck. God damn it. 
I'm just referring oh. to the actual person itself because what we could do is we could go in there asking for his friends and then be like, oh yeah, he sold us all out. And that way if we do go down, he also goes down with us because fuck him. He wasn't willing to help us in any way, so like we're most likely not going to get anything. Yeah, we can still blame him for shit. Who's to say we didn't already kill his friends in the other areas? True. Quick question, Sean. Do the servitors yes. have speaker boxes? For like, stay for order to come out of? Yes. Do they have a certain talent called feedback speech? No. Oh. Okay. Question. Yes. We have them all scream exterminate. Do we have any cord or anything? Well, you said the servitors aren't very dexterous. What if we pull the pins on these grenades, hand it to the servitors to hang on to, and then have them aimlessly shambled into the squads and shit? Um, that is... How long is the time on these grenades? I feel that's very... Well, if they... it's The pin will be pulled, but the latch wouldn't have flown yet. Oh, okay. So it would be in their hands. They would be carrying them. Shambling ah, over. Gotcha. And if they I get mean, shot, the grenade will fall and roll. So there's I mean, a good chance yeah, it yeah, might they're, get they're someone. The servitors are at least dexterous enough to hold onto the grenades themselves. That's fine. They wouldn't be able to like pull the pin or anything, but they could definitely at least hold onto them and trundle forward. That's why we pull it first and put it in their hands. I'd put it in their hands first, then pull it. Yeah, um, like, yeah. Like, make them hold it, pull the pin, and then. Push You're it. only passing over the life grade. Uh, let's play hot potato. <laughs> Yay! Yes, I'll call Lave and one support to like go get these fools and throw them in the in the brig because they didn't surrender, so they go get the nice lobby. Nice. That's for our yep. VIP so POV. So between all of the guards that you've been killing lately. Um, you have you do have enough grenades lying around to give like each servitor one grenade each. What about one in each hand? They will need both hands to hold on to it, so they've got like quite clunky, so augmented fingers. Damn. Are they wearing the equivalent of clothes? Or are they borderline so, naked? Yeah. Uh they have some rags on them, but you suspect it's primarily just to cover up some of the uh Unpleasant visuals of getting turned into a circle. Could we hide a bandolier under it? Um, no. Like a grenade belt kind of thing. What about just gluing grenades to them? Because when the first one explodes... Yeah. Then I have no idea how grenades work, so hopefully the other ones explode. Well, you would assume they, they would. would. Yeah. Right. The issue is, do you have any glue? What about duct tape? Let us check my inventory. I mean, if anybody was going to have it, it would be Rallis. What about people whom we killed just take the socks, tie a grenade to an arm? We can be inventive. I've got, some some yeah, I've got some rags and some wire left. Perfect. <laughs> we are actually going to turn the servitors into suicide bots. Oh. Why do they want to, like, like, try to keep the servitors intact because it would be helpful to blockade the elevators later, but, uh, yeah. We don't have to send them all. We could send two. Why are you trying knocking first? This, this room is going to be more difficult to take than the elevators to hold, because an elevator can only hold, like, one squad at a time. In here, there's three and other people. Try so what, if, <laughs> what if you try knocking first, and then <laughs> we can use the cameras that we can see by speaking to Lave to see if they then huddle around the door or move away from the door. If they huddle to the door, you can then just throw grenades at them. So are we, are we not tying grenades to servitors at this point and giving them suicide switches, dead man switches? 
<laughs> as in another grenade. It's possible to do, but I don't think we should do it. Alright. You okay there, Ronnie? Okay, the hard way it is. <laughs> War crimes intensify. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Literally, I that's the No point. such thing. I don't know if it qualifies for servitors. <laughs> I mean, also, rem literally remember the speech I had, like, ten minutes ago. Yeah. All right, time to tie grenades around servitors and run them at people. Yeah. It would be seen as very against what you've just said. Yeah. Only if there's any witnesses. Exactly. So, this time, no survivors. <laughs> remember, no version. God. Oh, so, God. What's, what's crack a folks? I always say that you had to go through with that level. You couldn't just like mow them down right at the beginning. Yeah, I know. Just like they're all literally stood in front of you. Just uh, done. Exactly. Game, game over. Anyway, side dragon. Yes. So are we suicide servitoring, or are we knocking and seeing what happens next? I'm, I'm, I'm all for knocking. To... I'm really curious if I... Lucian is just. Doubling down on this knocking thing right. so that he can at some point have a conversation where he says he is the one who knocks. Knock first. See how they react to knocking, then potentially blow them up with servitors. Alright. Okay. I guess I'll take the wire and scrap and shit down to them. <laughs> Go ahead. Time for I'll, craft uh, sessions. And then run back. And then run back, okay? You can drop off your stuff. Okay, so, Lucian, you knocking? And we're knocking. And we're walking. Okay, so you knock on the door. Hello? Hello? Anybody in there? Um, Maybe try speaking up. Lave does inform you that there is a short stretch of corridor between you and the next door. Oh, well then let's open that one and go to the next door. Okay, so for the sake of brevity, yes, that happens. <sighs> you can knock this time if you were so inclined. Are we just leaving Evan okay. behind? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you knock on the door this time and back in the security room Lave is watching on one secu on the the camera terminals and he says and he sees the um, this guard here kind of turn back towards the door and he kind of waves his arm towards the the nearest sergeant who kind of walks over and kind of presses down the intercom button he says who's this hi we're the people taking the spire from the inside we'd like for you to surrender so we don't have to kill you <laughs> respectfully I highly doubt that you have the numbers at this point. Respectfully, we've taken like seven floors of this fucking place and numbers aren't seeming to be enough to do it because your people tend to break and run away after a few fights and a few uh, few rounds fired in the direction. I'll have you know that my men are some of the most disciplined, highly trained soldiers in all of the Kaivar system. If you feel like you want to test that, come on through. <laughs> Is this the point we open the door? This is the point we open the door and they just D-Day us, don't <laughs> <laughs> Really? You just, you just don't want to do this the easy way? You, you don't want to avoid more bloodshed? You just want to double down on death? If it means your death, then why not? Alright, well, I'm looking forward to making you eat your words. Have a good day. And I smash the intercom. I recommend not everyone stray too far from this door, because I'm going to try and run to the controls and uh, vent the atmosphere. But are we the people? Like, do we not need to basically escort Rallus over there, who's in another room, to do that? I'll, if I'll, get I'll, I'll, to, I'll, I'll if come. If we can get him to... Run as far as he can over in there. I'll be his escort. I will. I can join. So, we all know this is the control of the place, right? Yep. So, who wants to run through enemy fire? Right. 
before, I'm used to it. Before I move down to there, can I have it so that when the door opens, I've set the servitors to run to the... Well, move as fast as they can to the squads. Can we give them grenades now? Yes. <laughs> Sweet. So, like, five minutes pass as we tie grenades to servitors. I'd assume we did this before the last door, but okay. Okay. That makes more sure. sense. Let's just say, for the sake of getting this whole fucking fiasco over with, yes, you managed to tie grenades to servitors. I cannot wait for the Space Marines bit stuff to start so I can <laughs> stop dealing with this fucking mess. <laughs> That's what you I think. Assume anything will change except the size of the grenades. They'll be smaller. <laughs> anyway, let's go. I'm gonna overwatch the door before we open it. Okay. I agree. Okay, so is everyone staying where they are? Callister watches the door. Because he can't actually make the Overwatch action. <laughs> if I trade places with Callister, can I put my flamethrower nozzle between the two servitors and shoot out in front of them? I mean, I would argue yes. So that I don't hit allies, but I burn everything. Hang on. Oh, the glorious 90 degrees! 45. Uh, it's 45 if you like twice the size of it. So Don't 9, 9, 9, twice the size. The glorious 360. Go. Yes! Well, the explosion. Yeah. 20 Flying meter throw. range, right? Yeah, 20. Okay, still not big enough. I think I need a bigger monitor or something. That would help. Okay, how big is that now? Too big. Maybe that. Close enough. It's not big enough. Nope, too big. But, you know, I'll just bear in mind the extra meter. Okay, so that is essentially what you would be able to hit. The glorious 45 degree arc. Eh, yeah, it's good scare tactics. Sure. Are you doing that? Yeah, door opens. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll leave that there for when that happens. So, just for when we need it, I'll just open that as well. Do you want right, us to roll anything? Um, yes. Okay. Yes, I would. Excellent. Agility. Haha, I rolled an 8. What are you going to do about that, Sean? Um, I could roll a 9 or a 10. Oh. I'll probably just shoot you. <laughs> Rocks fall, yes. coward to die. The glorious yes. 45 degree arc does not have a turn. Yes! I win! I still win! Do you though? And I beat 7. I mean, that's and good. holy jeebus. What's up? It's Nast. 15. That's this blast. Oh no, Sean beat me! Ha! Told you. Hell yeah! God damn it, guys. Okay, and the Servitors will act on Ralph's turn, oh. I'll say. I, I, rolled, basically... I, I rolled down separately and got the same number. Oh, did you? Cool. <laughs> right, has everybody rolled? Yes. Right, okay. Let's... Order these. Check for any. Uh, Lucian, what is your agility? Four. You go before the guard. Yes. Rallis, what is your agility? Four. You go before the servitors. Okay. So, who is. Well, Dorvan is closest to the actual uh, door, I believe. So he slashes the, uh, the key card through the thing, and the door opens. Uh, Lucian, you have line of sight on, uh, those two dudes there, if you want to take a shot. Sure. Go for it. Are you shooting the guy on the left or the guy on the right? Um, left. Okay, go for it. Um, short range. 
Uh, you can't aim if you're overwatching, which is annoying. Would you like to fate point that? Yes. I thought you might. Since jamming is bad. Jamming is bad. I was wrong, but just want to roll a d hundred, just so we don't use your ammo twice. Okay. Uh... Nope. Hang on, let me see if there's any reason why you might have any other bonuses. Uh... Surprise. No. It's not really surprised after you've essentially announced that you were coming in with the whole conversation. Did they take cover or are they just standing there? They're just standing there. There's not really a great deal of cover to take. They're kind of relying on the strength of numbers in this kind of situation. So unfortunately you, you, you pull the trigger and while you're trying to avoid shooting the servitor in the back while it's carrying grenades, um, you're unable to uh, land a hit as it were. Uh, yeah, right. uh, Rallus, you had your flamer prepared, so do you want to roll damage for me while I make some dodge checks? That guard passes. I sure would if I didn't have the wrong stuff sheet open. The sergeant also passes, and that guy at the bottom fails. Okay, so uh, I'll need a set of damage. And I'll bring the glorious 45 degree arc back later. Okay, 13 damage pen 2. These guys... The flamers jam one and a 9, yes? Uh... Yes. I believe they do. Yeah, if so, then that jammed. Have you got unreliable? I think you do, because you hand made this flamer. Um... <laughs> Yes, I do. Right, then, yeah. One way or another, your, your flamer is jammed. The shot does go off, though. So this guy takes... Pen, pen two, where is the guard? So that puts that down to... Okay. That guy is not happy. And currently on fire. So I'm still overwatching. If any of these guys walk into my line of sight, I get the fire again, right? Uh, yes, that is true. Okay. Um, is there a fire token? Go for that one. There you go. He's on fire. Okay. Right. And now we'll actually get to the actual initiative order. Nast, you're up. Yay. <laughs> yes. What would you like to do in this scenario exactly? I'll probably, you know, some some shotgun sniping since, you know, that's... Ah, yes. That's... That's a thing, you know? I mean, technically speaking, if you got really lucky. Um, can I hit this thing over here? Uh, what's the range on your weapon? 30. Then yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that a sergeant? Uh, no. Wait. Yes. Is he on fire? Yes. What about this gun? Um, he is not on fire. He is also a sergeant. Uh, I should have done not on fire one. Uh, go for it. It's not in short range, I'm afraid. Nope. Are you aiming? So, Half action aim, yep. So it's okay. plus 20. Yep. Here we g went. You get a fake point? I will save them for when it's going to do more damage. Okay. You done? Yep. All right. Jin. The the breaching part of the breaching clear maneuver has begun. Now you're going to get to do the fun bit. Woohoo! So, what you doing? Zooming in so I could see. Hmm. It's probably a good good start. Well, I'm going to charge attack that guy since he's going to be in my way. Okay. I'll just move next to him. Oh, you got it. Sweet. Okay. Uh, yeah, you get the normal plus 20 for charge, but that's it. Okay. Yeah. 
Yep. Okay, so that's only one. What? Yeah, that is one degree of success. You only get the one hit. Let me see if he dodges. Uh, I'm afraid he does. Uh, let's see. That's going to be your full turn, I'm afraid, unless you have any free actions you can do. Uh, well, that's not going to work, because that's not an attack. That's just a counterattack. No. Nope. Okay, right. Kaiden Sergeant's turn. Uh, the one who is on fire is going to take some damage. He is looking noticeably unhappy, but however, he is also going to try to put himself out now. Uh, and fails. Uh, the gentleman stood across from him is going to pull up his last carbine and open fire on the wall of servitors. What is his ballistic skill? Okay, so half action aim, uh, short range. Okay, that is four hits. Rallis, would you like to have... Oh, to tell you what, we'll say Marco is currently piloting the servitors. Would you like that servitor to attempt to dodge? Rallis? Rallis? No, you're, uh, we can hear you. Yeah, Adam? Hello. I'd imagine his mic was probably... One of the servitors is being shot at. For the sake of, do you know what? I'll just, I'll just say, Marco is going to have a try to dodge. Yeah, Marco <laughs> can dodge it. Okay, fifteen or less. It rolled exactly fifteen. He's better at so dodging it, than I am. Yeah, so it manages to dodge one of the four shots. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? So many character sheets. There he is. Right, so let's have a look. What is the damage reduction on a servitor? It is... Probably quite a bit. Oh, uh, but that's a 14. Yes, that is a 12, followed by a 14, followed by a 5. With 10 too as well. Oh boy. Yep. So, that is going to be... Where did he actually hit? That's going to be body, so that goes down to... So that becomes... Right, okay. Well, it, yeah, it's it's definitely dead. So, uh, Nast, you are the closest. Roll a d10 for me. Oh, boy. The grenade does not go off when the servitor falls to the ground. Yay. You suspect it will go off soon. Kick oh! It. Run! Kick it. <laughs> I don't think I can kick the servitor all the way over there. The remaining sergeant is going to hug the wall. Actually, no, he's going to stay where he is and basically declare overwatch on here. Okay. Um, Dorvin, he is going to... He's going to try to shoot the guy that just shot at you lot. Misses horribly. Callister! Oh boy! You see that grenade that fell to the ground? Yeah. Can I throw it? Can I pick it up and throw it? Uh, yes, but you will have to stand in the front line to do so. That is fine! So I'm gonna cool. Go ahead. leap through here, jump through here, grab the grenade, and yeah. hopefully I don't fail. <laughs> what is your strength modifier? Uh, strength modifier is... is four. Oh, did my mic not pick it up? No, it didn't. So you have 12 meters. You want to throw that? Yes, right here. Seven meters. Okay, go ahead. Roll ballistic skill check. Uh, ballistic skill check? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, standard attack. Work? Say again? Do you remember how grenades work? No. Throw them. <laughs> so it's it's a standard attack. It's yes. a plus 10. 
Okay, you're not in short range, though. Not and in unfortunately, short range. you're not allowed to use the size of the floor as a bonus. No. So just a plus ten. Is there nothing else? Nope. 35% chance not to fuck this up royally. Well, what if he rolled it? What if I rolled uh, it? Same kind of problem. Yeah, still... it's the same problem. Yeah. Look at this way, Roland. If it scatters, it's much more likely to scatter away from you than towards you. Okay. I'm okay. still gonna re-roll that, just in case. Unless that sounds like a bad idea. Honestly, I think the chance of it scattering back towards you are quite slim. I'm gonna trust you, Sean. Everyone looking forward to re-rolling the party? I'm gonna trust you, Sean! Uh, everyone looking forward to starting as new characters? Cool. Roll a d8. <laughs> oh, no! But we need to see which way it scatters. Well, doesn't it scatter from where he's thrown it to? Yeah, it does. But we need to figure out which way that is. So that's gonna be this direction. Oh! Towards us? Yes! Roll a d10. Okay. Go low. Oh! Said so low! So <laughs> how the hell does that make sense? Are you aware of how trigonometry works? Yes. But like, how does it... How do I throw it so hard that it scatters The way I'm imagining into... it is... Imagine, imagine a 40k frag grenade. You know how they're those weird cylinder shape? And then they have oh. a large kind of bit at the end where the oh. pin sticks in. It's I'm like imagining how... it landed on that and it kind of bounced off and is then reverbed off the wall. It's like how rugby balls playing. Yeah, exactly. So All over the bloody place. And about seven meters there, so then three meters there. It gets one person. Uh, it looks... I'll say you get those two, so they'll make nice. a nice check. Uh, okay. Roll 2d10 for me. Yes, sir. Hopefully I roll just as well as I did with the eight and ten. Uh, the one at the bottom does manage to jump out of the way. Yeah. Okay, and that guy is going to take some damage. However, the grenade does not go off inside you guys, which is a plus. Um, do you have any free actions you would like to perform, Ronan? <laughs> I will allow crying as free action. Uh, crying with relief that I didn't kill the entire team. Yeah, Jin, for a split second there, you felt this horrible, horrible feeling in the back of your mind, like, Callista was holding something. <laughs> Some, something yeah. that she was thrown. <laughs> okay, so, Lucian, you're up. Yeah. Alright, let's shoot this guy again. Or... Uh, which guy? The guy on the left? I can't see that squad, huh? Um... If you move to... If you move to this square here, you'd be able to see them. Okay. Do that. Shoot the squad. Sorry, let me just move you one to the left. There you go. Yep. Um, plus 20 size modifier. And short range, so plus 30 total. Yeah, I miss. The end fate point? Nope. Okay. Can I even go? Uh, let's have a look. So the guy who's currently engaged in combat with Jin is going to try to attack him with his knife. Which is melee skill is 35, so we need a move less. Uh, he misses. Um, Does that still count as a counterattack or no? No, you have to successfully parry before you can get a counterattack. Okay. Okay, the squad that Lucian just tried to take a shot at notices that he's currently stood there with a heavy weapon. And he's going to try to take a couple of shots at him. Uh, right, that one hits. That's a horde, so unfortunately you can't dodge this, Tim.
Actually, do you know what? You are stood kind of in the, the shadow of the door there. Can you give me a dodge at minus 10? Oh, sorry, plus 10. Twenty two, twenty one there. Uh, yeah, ten zero though. Okay. Okay. I'm at one. Okay. Power armor. It's actually good. Who knew? Uh, no this one. squad is going to move there, and this squad is going to move slightly further back since they saw the guy with the flamethrower. Okay. Um, we are doing poorly. Well, none of us are dead yet. Okay, that guy who just moved there at the south is going to try to take a shot at Callister since he doesn't know the servitors are carrying grenades yet. Uh, misses. This guy is going to back off, and this guy is going to go to about there. Actually, no, he's probably going to full move, so he'll get to there, and he'll get to there. Okay. Rallis, you're up. Okay, what was the rules we decided on technical knock again? Was it like an unjammed uh, you can do techies? With a half action. With a half action with techies. I shall do that. Check. In the book, it's full action as a ballistic skill check. Uh, we'll allow tech use for this one, especially considering it's such a cobbled together little weapon we've made. Never mind. Take point? I know I've only got one left. Um, you have another, because you have another half action. Can I try it again? Or is it uh, once a turn? This one, but uh, you can't do two actions of the same subtype. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> I think I'm actually just going to move back slightly. <laughs> okay. Just to there. <laughs> just in case any grenades go off. Makes sense. Okay. Speaking of which, servitors. Okay. Servitors. They have a agility of three, yeah? What what's the plan? It is running towards the nearest enemies. This one heads this oh, way. So not the squads. So this one's gonna go with this squad here. Okay. So okay. This one, I'm guessing I'll head like to this squad roughly. Ah, when every time, okay, so this sergeant had overwatch, so yeah. he's gonna take a shot at that first one. Okay. Misses. Right, this one's gonna move to there and then go along this way. Um, go back, okay, so be there. Can only run up to 80. Oh, there. There you go. Okay. Right, last one. We'll go Actually that one's gonna just move to there. There? Yeah. Okay. Um that's what all they can do. Okay, cool. Nast, you're up. I'm gonna half action walk to this corner. Okay. I think I had a nice little. I just shoot the sergeant. Uh, Which was oh, in probably, point blank. Hang on, hang on, hang on, sorry. He needs to overwatch on those on the two servitors as well. So when you overwatch, it's everything that goes through. It's whenever anything moves through your. your okay, player. then he'll probably also overwatch me for some reason. I don't know why. Seems a bit unreasonable, you know. I know, right? Yeah. Miss. Miss. Oh, he actually hits the last one. Okay. Um. Uh, that does literally nothing. Nice. 
Okay, right, and now on Nast. Oh, that actually hits as well. Oh, that boys. Oh, would you like to attempt to dodge that? Now? Um, oh, wait, you can't. Considering that, the things I might be facing soon. And uh, no. Okay. Because right, so, I only get my reaction after it's been my turn again. Yeah. Plus, you can't, really, you can't use the reaction on your own turn, apparently. That's weird, but all right. Uh, we had a long conversation about it quite a while ago. Um, mm. So, 11 damage, 0 pen to. Yep. To. It doesn't uh, actually matter. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. It was but, funny. But, but yeah. Okay. That's so, so not I good. Assume, I assume you're going to be shooting this this fine gentleman. Point Which one of them? Yeah, no. Uh, oh, no yeah, I, I will. Okay. Uh, point blank is plus 30, single shot. Yeah. Plus 50. Uh, yeah, plus 50. 10 for single, 10 for scatter, 30 for point blank. Point blank, yeah. Okay, three, uh, let me try to dodge. Uh... Did we decide if you dodge, if you dodge all three hits, or if it counts as basically three different hits where you need to like... It would count as three different hits. So okay, good. Depending on how well, if he dodged or not. Uh... Alright. So he's managed to dodge one of them. Right, so, so two hits. Uh, and that's six degrees of success, right? It is, yes. I am willing to spend a fate... Seven. seven. I'm willing to spend a fate point to get plus seven to my first damage roll. Okay. Shotgun away. Um, can I change the five to a seven as well? Do because you take... the second one is first? Uh, well, yeah. Oof. You're welcome. Yeah. So you do yeah. 16 and 11. Yes. Okay, here's damage reduction. Ooh, where did you actually hit? Oh, dear, you shot 30 is... Yeah. Oh, dear, he's not wearing a helmet. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, so would you like to explain how you decapitate this gentleman with a shotgun? Beautiful. It's not actually a, a full decapitation because I'm just aiming too far up. So it's from the jaw and just the back, so the lower jaw is hanging there. Almost, some would say, jaw-dropping display. Was this the guy I was talking to? Yeah, so I, I'll yeah. turn my head and lean back. He's, he's literally he in his words, words right now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, he's quite dead. Very nice. Jin, you're up. All right, ammo. Okay, I attack again. I have half action in. Yep. Okay. Nope. Fate point, isn't it? Uh, I guess I will. Uh, you could just roll a um, D100, we know your target is. Nope. 50. Never mind. <sighs> okay, Kyvan Sergeant. So that one is dead. This one is on fire. Does he actually survive? Uh, it should only be 1d10, but either way, he's quite dead. Uh, this guy is going to take a shot at Nast. So aim, short range. Oh boy. And flutter. it. Nice. And that was the last sergeant. Uh, Jariah Dorvan is... Uh, where can you get a line of sight on that squad? He's going to move past Callister to there, and he's going to take a shot at the... He 
he can only really actually yeah he's gonna take a, a shot at that squad so now let's have a look what is his ballistic skill Oh, he actually hits. Uh, six times. Nice. Um, hordes can't dodge. Woo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and I'll substitute that one for a six. So he actually does uh, one, two, three, four. Five magnitude damage to that horde on the bottom left. Finally, he's been useful again. Okay, Callister, you're up. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh goody! Oh gosh! Um. <gasps> yes. Charge. Go for it. It's probably gonna kill the the servitor's probably gonna blow up and kill me. It's fine. Don't worry, guys. I'll so make your attack. Yeah, I know. I need to find the uh thingy. So bear hands hit. No aim. Charge. Yes. But I'm gonna. I'll reroll that. Okay. You guys are really rolling very poorly today. Yeah, I know. Aren't you happy? No! Oh. For fuck's sake. Never mind, oh, I missed. Man, I don't actually want to kill you before you hit the Space Marine stuff. Do you know what that would mean? That would mean I'd probably have to do a different Space Marine origin. I don't want to do that! That's a whole new planet of human stuff! Or just start as Space Marines. Somewhere else. I'll worry about that if we get there. Could be a Terranborn one. Uh, it could be. We'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, so unfortunately you fluff that. Unless you want to spend a fate point to make that a hit. Eh, no, I'm not going to do that. Fair enough. Uh, Lucian, you're up. Okay, well. So you can aim at them now for an additional plus 10. They're still size modifier 20. Yeah, just give this one a try. That's better. Let's have a look. 70, 60, 50, 40. Uh, so you hit four times. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it would only be four because it's, for some reason, counting an extra one for some reason. Okay. Um, would you like to put your four degrees of success on one of those sixes to actually do some damage? Well, the second six doesn't count. So the first six, yes. Oh, well, actually, it doesn't matter because you've got the pen. So that, that does work. Okay, sweet. So, uh, that's four damage. Very nice. Okay. Um, any free actions or anything you want to do? Uh, can I yell out? Are you ready to surrender yet? Uh, you can yell it out, but over the, the sound of the, the heavy stubber and all the other gunfire, it just kind of gets drowned out. Kai of okay. uh, The one attacking Jin actually lands a hit with his combat knife. Would you like to parry? Yes. Okay, parry. <laughs> Would you uh, like to fake point it? Yes. Okay. Well, if you get, hang on, if you were going to fate point it, you might as well have just spent the fate points to add a degree, uh, to add 10 to the roll to make it a pass. Okay, okay. So we'll do that instead. Um, yeah. So you successfully parry. Roll d100 for me.
Okay. The knife vaporizes under the power field of your mace. Would you like to counterattack? Yes, I would. How does that okay. work? Uh, Just you, make a, you make a standard attack at minus 20. Oh, standard attack at minus 20. Okay. For so hit, go. correct? Sorry? Hit, correct. So half aim or you no get, aim. No, no, no. You, you don't. Uh, no aim. And you'll actually have to do it the thing at minus 30 because you need to cancel out the plus 10 you get from doing a, a, a standard attack, which you don't get. You have to, the attack is at a minus 20. Oh, I fail miserably. Fine. You don't lose anything. That's true. Okay. Rallis, you're up. I will attempt to unjam again. Okay. Uh, wait, what? What the hell? Good question. I've what lost my you? ability to click on my character page. One moment, I'm just going to reload, reload roll 20. Yeah, no problem. How are we all doing today? I, uh, you know, pretty good. <laughs> Apart from him being slightly holy. <laughs> yeah, next turn. Um, I've just realized I've just missed out half of the enemies, so I'm just going to take their turn while we wait for Rallis to sort out his... Excellent! Callister's oh. about to die. Uh, not necessarily, but the guy you're in combat with is going to try to stab you. And fails. And then we've got three guys who are looking basically exactly at Nast. So, let's have a look. I am displeased. Uh, that is one hit. Would you like to dodge that? Um, and the, uh, how many need to go? Three. Well, technically, three and the three hordes. The three hordes still need to go. I guess no, then, if the hordes still need to go. Hordes dodge hordes, usually. Okay, I forgot about that. Then, yes, I'd like to dodge. Okay, go ahead. Very nice, you're fine. Next guy misses horribly, and the last guy misses even worse. <sighs> okay, so the first horde that's starting the far right is going to try to take a shot at the servitor that is running straight at it for some reason. Now let's ignore the servitor. Uh, they miss. Bottom left is going to. Um, it's going to shoot at the Servitor once, and then at Nast once as well. They have multiple shots? They have a number of attacks equal to the tens digit of their magnitude. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. So they miss the Servitor. Um, they don't miss Nast. I'm going to. Oh. Um. Magic. Even if I I did give you a dodge for the, there's no reason I can really justify it. So I'm yeah, no. I'm, I'm I'm just gonna have to hit you with this. It's fine so long as you know they. Fifteen damage. What to do with two d ten? Yeah, that's based on the magnitude. Oh, um, where do they hit me? Body. What's minus two at the body? Minus two at the body. Energy, luckily, I assume. Yeah, it's energy. Luckily, it is only energy, which is the least terrifying of all the damage types. Rending, was... impact, explosive. Energy. Um, make a plus zero toughness test for me. Done. You are not knocked prone. That's it. Oh, that have been fine. I have leave up. Yeah, plus if you're prone, I think things actually get a negative to shoot at you. Yeah. Uh, and the horde on the far left is going to try to shoot that served or twice. They miss. Uh, and they actually hit. Okay, so that servitor explodes. And they within range. Yes, they are. 
<laughs> Who wants to roll 2d? Tell you what, Nast. Roll 2d10 for me. Since we tied more than one grenade to them, would it just be 2d10? How many did- oh, hang on. When did you specify that you were tying more than one? That's what the wire in the rags was for, wasn't it? Yeah, I didn't specify- it didn't mean you- We never specified the amount, so I guess- Yeah, I just assumed it'd be one each. Um... Can we roll a number and if it's above, like, like, so let's roll no, a I'm, I'm just okay. gonna, I'm just gonna say right. it's one. Because otherwise, okay. on that first serve door who was carrying grenades, you would have had to have disposed of more than one as well. I suppose, yeah. Okay. Should I, should I take my resources back then? Uh, well, no, because you still need something to tie the one to them. It was in the hands, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, fair enough. In that case, you can have your <laughs> rags and wires back. Yeah. I know they're very precious to you. They are. Hey. Okay, that actually does, uh... One damage for the actual damage, and then an additional three for. The... And then explosive. Oh, so five. Because it's explosive, so so one for damage, one for explosive damage type, and then three for the blast radius. So that's just five. five magnitude damage to that horde. Hmm. Okay. Mighty fine. Oh, I've just realised something. The horde on the far right actually broke before they had a chance to shoot at their servitor. Because Lucian, you know, laid into them with a the heavy stubber. They basically just scatter. And because hordes make no sense, just seem to dematerialize. They're all Wait, what? they're all demons, really. Yeah. You're all you're all just having a really bad shit. Oh, demons, really? Yeah, let's hope they're not demons. Right, Ralus, it's actually your turn now. Yay. Okay. I got me stuff open again, and I didn't get me stuff. Is that the same rule as last time? Um, Something along those lines. Um, but I will. Is my whole? No, it's actually worse. Oh yay! My right, whole set. At what minus do you die from energy damage? I think it's got to be like okay. eight or nine. Just move up to there again. What about to the head? Uh, let me find that for you. Just, you know, f you know, thinking about my option. Okay, let's have a look. Energy damage to the body... Uh, you die on nine from the body. Head? Eight. I'm a gambling man. <laughs> That's a big problem, really. Yeah, no, it's fair. Okay, so, uh, Ras, your turn done? Yep. Okay, Servitors. Servitors. This There's button. only one left? Two left. Oh, yeah, two left. Okay. First one is going to move there. Okay. Oh, yeah, there. there. Second okay. one. Okay, my only thought for that first one is you might as well move it right next to the guy. Actually, I suppose it doesn't matter. His dodge distance is enough. It doesn't matter. It's moving. Okay. And, and right he's going to run straight into the middle of them. Straight into the middle of them. Yeah. Okay. Dive I like on. It. I like it. Okay. Um, and now they explode. No, just the one in the group does. No, no, both of them. Do they? Yep. Alright then, fair dues. Yep. Well, you'd pulled the pin on them, there's only a limited amount of time before they were cooked off anyway. Even when holding on to the thing that jumps off, as like, uh, Jin talked about? Yes. Alright. Because no. Uh, shut up. It's fine. Just space like... space grenades, they work differently. Space grenades work funny, and we've apparently entirely miscommunicated how we were setting this scene up. So, either way, roll 2d10 for me. This is the one that's in the middle of the horde. Well, this is awkward. Doesn't do damage, does it? Doesn't do damage. Yeah. Oh. Didn't think so. Oh well. Um, 
it's got to do damage before you can get the benefits of blast radius, doesn't it, Ronan? Uh, yeah. It was a dud. Clearly. Other one? Uh, okay. Um, I do like... Yeah, other one. Uh, it doesn't get his dodge check on. That's a bit better. Still not enough to kill him, probably, but it's a bit better. No, it's not enough to kill him. He's down to... That number. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Does the Servitor die due to the explosion? Unfortunately, yeah. Does the server so explode due to the damage from dying for the explosion? Okay, Nast, you're up. Well, um, any of these wounded so far? Uh, the one in the middle is. Uh, what did he get wounded by? Uh, what was it? Uh, it was the grenade that passed through. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna walk here, and then I'm gonna yeehaw, shoot the guy closest to me, because he's within point blank. Makes Go it plus 50. Yep. Fuck! I'm going to reroll that, 92. <laughs> yeah. Things are looking quite a lot better now, but still too spicy for my taste. That is, that is quite spicy. Let me just roll a dodge check. He fails. Roll three sets of damage for me. A one, a two, and a three. <laughs> I'd like to replace the first one. Okay. Uh, so you got... Uh, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Five degrees of success, so that becomes ten. Uh, so... Okay, so he's now on maths, 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 maths. I have to throw it. I can do this. I don't do maths for a living. It's fine. Okay, right. Numbers, yes. He is wounded. He is still alive. I know the feeling. <laughs> no, you're actually wounded worse than him. Jin, you're up. Please, fire support. <laughs> I have no firearms. That does not matter. Let's see, half action aim. Can I borrow the 45 degree arc for a second? Yes. There you go. Do you have control of it? Okay. Woohoo! Uh, yes, very nice. Uh, let me see. I use sw that was swift attack too, so... Okay, he only manages to dodge one of them since you vaporized his knife, so... <laughs> go for it. Uh, how many? Uh, five? Uh, no. He dodged two, so... What's two your attack? What, what... No, he dodged one. What's your one. weapons? Modifier? Uh, ballista weapons, I think, is. Let me check one sec. Yep. Uh, weapon skill is 40, so 4. Oh, okay. So you would have landed 4, but he dodges. No, hang on, you would have landed 3, but he dodges. Okay, so 2 hits. 2 damage, please. Okay. Is he dead yet? Uh, yes, he is very yeah. dead. Quite dead. Awesome. Okay, kind of in Sergeant. He is... He's going to shoot at Jim now that he's out of close combat. And he misses horribly. Woohoo! Okay, so now that we are back at the top of the round, um, we're going to call this episode here, um, as I feel like I need to apologise for Tim for almost killing him. Um... We'll be back in about a week or a few days, depending on when I actually get around to putting up these new episodes. Uh, leave a comment if you like the new thumbnail that we have, as I've actually managed to get someone who actually knows how to make something that looks good to make something to that actually looks good. Um, so if you enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a comment, like the video, subscribe, 
share it on Facebook, force it down your friends' throat. Seriously, even if they don't ask, just bring it up in any random conversation, especially about the weather. Especially about the weather. Nobody wants to talk about the weather anymore. So, Sean, how's the weather? Have you heard about this thing called Great Crusade? You should totally watch it. Watch it.